it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a Wannable video. It's been quite a while since I have done a Wannable clothing subscription service unboxing, try on, and review. That's because back when I was doing a lot of clothing subscription unboxings and stuff, I had so many and Wannable was pretty similar to a couple of other ones that I was doing so I kind of let it fall by the wayside. But I wanted to bring it back because right now you still can't try clothes on in store and a lot of people, including myself, aren't going in store for the most part and shopping for clothes. So I think it's nice to get all of these items in, you try them on, which you want to keep you pay for so you're not paying for all of these up front. They do have, I believe it's a $20 Yes, a $20 styling fee, which is credited toward whatever you choose to keep. I have seven items in this box. One of them is something I requested. Oneable has a section called the stream, which you can go in. It's filtered based on your style and your style preferences and your size too. And you can go in and pick what you like and what you'd like for them to send you. So one thing in here is a request. I do want to say too, if you're watching this on Saturday, which typically today would be a swimsuit Saturday video, you will get a swimsuit Saturday tomorrow on the 19th, which is a swimsuit Sunday. So it still kind of works <laughs> for my play on words. It's going to be a chic soul swimsuit haul because they're launching a ton of swimwear tomorrow. So that's why you'll see it tomorrow. Because if you saw it today, you can't buy anything today. You can't buy it till tomorrow. As always, everything you're about to see me try on, I will link in the description box down below. I'll also leave my measurements, the size I'm trying on, a link to sign up for Wannable, what I ended up keeping. Is that it? <laughs> I think that's all of the housekeeping, so let's get into the try-on. Oh, this shirt is one of them. It was on top when I opened the box, and I liked the colors. It's all Anyway, I'll show you next. Okay, let's get into it. This top I was just wearing in the intro is called the Striped Keyhole Front Tie Top in Navy in a size 2X, 58 bucks. The brand is Democracy. The only thing, it's a bit cropped. I'll show you the shorts I'm wearing in a second. It does have a knot tie made in it in the front. The colors are really pretty. I like this little bit of detail here. It's a bit of a cuff sleeve. I just wish for my preferences that it was three or four inches longer. I think that it would just be a little bit more flattering on me. The other top I have in this box is also cropped. So it's not my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I paired it with these shorts. They're the Vigos Vigos. Jagger frayed hem, seven inch short in white in a size 20, 58 bucks. The pockets in the front are not real. They're not high waisted. They sit right below my belly button. I do like the hem, but I don't love them. I own several pair of Vigos or Vigos shorts that I do like. Here's a look at the back of the top and the shorts. I am wearing striped underwear. I can see them in the mirror. So you can see through these shorts. The pockets in the back are real. See, the top just fits so well. If it were just a little bit longer, I think it would be so much more flattering. So first outfit, I like the top, not the shorts. Let's do these bottoms now. These are the brand Curve Appeal. They're called the Liquid Denim Ankle Biter in Rinse. I guess Rinse is the color, size 20, 68 bucks. So I will say this, Curve Appeal, I have a pair of black, skinny jeans from Curve Appeal that I have worn and washed so many times and they don't stretch, they don't pill, the color doesn't change, they still fit really nice. So I know that the brand is good. These feel very nice. They're very comfortable. I love the dark wash. I love that they don't have distressing. They do sit maybe a quarter of an inch above my belly button. Pockets in the front are fake, but they have a bit of stretch to them. They just feel nice. You know, like, I just feel like these are a good pair, a good pair of jeans. I don't know if I like the ankle length. I think they're cute if you're gonna wear heels. Yeah, that's the only thing. I wish they were regular length on me. And the back, they are a bit big here, but they fit really nice everywhere else. This is the other top in my box. This is the same brand Democracy, striped SS side tie top in the color Oat. It doesn't tell me what size it is on this paper, so let me see. It's in a size 2X. I actually didn't think that I would like this just because of the pattern, but it does fit really well. 
I like that it's a bit looser at the top. I like the side tie. It's not soft at all. <laughs> That's the only thing. These colored portions of it are not soft. And here's a look at the back. You can kind of flounce it or let it sit at your waist like that. Or if you wanted to pull it down a little bit, I think you could. You've got that extra fabric to do that. This one I'm pleasantly surprised that I do really like the fit. I wish that this top and this color and everything was the fit of this. This is just such a softer material. Let me tell you what it is, by the way, while I'm talking about material. This first democracy top is 68% polyester. Oh. 68% polyester, 30% rayon, 2% spandex. This one that I'm wearing right now is 60% cotton, 40% modal, M-O-D-A-L, just for reference. I have one pair of jeans, which I already own those jeans, but we'll still put them on. Here we go. These are cut from the cloth, Catherine Boyfriend jeans in a medium wash, size 20, $89. I do already own these jeans. These exact jeans, I wear them all the time. I love cut from the cloth, so I don't need another pair. I have found two that while the 20 fits me right now, cut from the cloth does stretch quite a bit. So I usually size down to an 18. I like these. They're cropped or not cropped. They're rolled. They're just cute. They're comfy jeans. They sit right at my belly button. I love them. Like I said, I own this exact pair and then I own another pair in a darker wash and I wear both of them all the time. Here's a look at the back of the jeans, just for reference. I do have two things left. They are both jewelry. I believe these are the earrings that I requested. Yes, these are Michelle Starbuck Designs Luminary Hoops, 42 bucks. Like I mentioned in the beginning, there's a section on their website called The Stream where you can go in and request things that you think that you would like. Now these reminded me, Miranda Fry. I follow so many people who talk about her jewelry or that line's jewelry all the time, but it's so pricey. So when I saw these, I thought that they could be a good dupe for a little bit less. I will say though, while I put these in, that I found a pack at Target for $7.99 with gold, silver, and a rose gold different size hoops, pretty similar to these, and I've been wearing them nonstop. I'll link those down below too, in case you've been on the hunt and want something and don't wanna spend a lot of money. Okay, here we go. They're cute, they're pretty. $42, is that what I said? I don't know. I don't know if they're $42 worth it for me when I've found ones that I like a little bit better for a little bit less. All right, last thing we have is a necklace. This is the brand Tess and Trisha. It's called the Charm on, Charmer Necklace in Pale Blue, $45. I feel like I'm always on the hunt for dainty silver and gold necklaces, and then I just don't end up wearing them. I don't know why. I have sensitive skin and a lot of times, like you'll probably see when I put this on, that it'll make my skin really red. That's pretty though. And that would match the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Oh, I love the chain. Instead of a typical necklace chain, you get this actual chain looking necklace. Here we go. Okay, I kind of like this a lot. I love the chain. I love the beading on it. This bit of gold pendant here. I kind of really like this. It's very different. Do I like this? I think I do. Do you like it? Now that you've seen everything, let's talk total. The total for everything in my box, if I kept it, $408. You get your styling fee credited toward whatever you choose to keep. So it's still pretty pricey. Um, I do really like this necklace. So if I ended up keeping the necklace, I could get it for 25 bucks because of that $20 styling fee credited. The other things, I like the Curve Appeal jeans, but honestly, I've seen them for quite a bit cheaper on Nordstrom Rack's website. What I'll do, as I always do in these, if I can find these items for less, I will link the exact items but then I'll also try to find them 
for less. That way, if there's something you like, you don't have to pay full price for it. Okay, so that's a wrap on this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you liked, what you didn't like. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll let you know in the description box what I'm choosing to keep. But for now, I think I'm going to just keep this necklace because it is really pretty and I don't want to lose that credit. Once you don't use it, it doesn't roll over into the next month and I don't want to lose it. So I'll probably end up keeping this necklace. So thanks again for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.